Thank you, Tim. Here on the First Coast, I want you to take a close look at your screen. Jacksonville police are looking for the person who was driving this green sedan. Police say that driver hit a mother and her young son as they were crossing the street. And this all happened on the west side Wednesday afternoon, and the driver just kept going. All new at 11, we're hearing from a close relative of those victims who says they are still tonight in the hospital. The 10 year old boy just regaining consciousness on your side's Destiny McKeever shares his family's plea for justice. Hyde Park Road in West Jacksonville is a busy street, but it also has heavy foot traffic. Wednesday, Rachel Pinnell and her 10 year old son, Jet Taylor, were walking across the street when police say the two were hit by a dark green car. They later shared this photo saying this is the car in question. So Wednesday afternoon, she was picking my nephew up from the bus stop. She's there every single day. Um, the bus had its lights out. Um, they were starting to cross after checking behind the bus. And as soon as they started walking in front of the bus, a car came out of nowhere and just ran right over the both of them. Dana Mansell says her sister tried everything she could to get her young son who had been badly injured. He sustained head trauma. Um, he had bleeding on his brain. Um, his mouth was injured, um, his jaw. But he actually went into surgery yesterday to do that. He's going to have to have a few teeth replaced. Mansell says the two are here at UF Health and they may be here for quite some time. Rachel also has severe injuries. She broke both of her clavicles and has uh, injuries to her spine. Um, she's pretty banged up and bruised. Take another look at the suspect's car. Police say it appears to have a garbage bag on the back driver's side window, and they want anyone with information to call them. Um, please review your security cams, your ring cams, and see if maybe we can find the footage. We are extremely grateful for all the support and prayers. In Jacksonville, Destiny McKeever, First Coast News, on your side. Hopefully that driver will be found soon.